in my city and it's like that. What's good, YouTube? It's your man Osh from the Ghost back with another episode of Osh Knows. It's a thing, yeah. Yeah. It's a thing, yeah. Today's episode, we're going to be going over the local tattoo artists in the scene, uh, what they're up to. I mean, I didn't get to everybody I wanted to, but I got to a couple different shops, got to a couple of my favorite artists, got to see what they're up to. First, I went to go see my man Rico. So if you know me, it's been a really, really, really long time. I had a tattoo and probably like right after my son was born. So about 10 years we're looking at right now. Um, my last piece was a memorial piece for my grandpa. Uh, he died. Uh, that was on the inside of my arm here. It's been old. It's been a while. It needs probably touched up. But anyway, that was my last tattoo. Been a really long time. I've been out of retirement. Reason being is since I've gotten out of prison, tattoos have become kind of a fad. When I went to prison, tattoos were kind of a thing that only a certain kind of people did. You know what I mean? And now like librarians and uh, uh, convenience store clerks and, and you know, uh, front desk ladies. Everybody's got got sleeves and you know everybody's got neck tattoos and face tattoos so to me tattoos have kind of lost their meaning so it's been a long time since i've gotten one however my man rico he's getting ready to move to green bay shout out to my man rico uh so before he left because he's my boy and i haven't gotten a tattoo in so long uh i decided to come out of tattoo retirement and go get a tattoo for my man Rico. So, here we go. Yo, what's up? This is Rico. I work at Sharpness Sculpted. I do black and gray work. I'm currently in Casper, Wyoming, but I'm moving to Green Bay here in about a week. I'm going to be working at Stars Tattoo Barber and Beauty. How long have you been tattooing? About three years, three and a half almost, I'd say. Why'd you start tattooing? I just love doing art. You've been drawing and painting, and how'd you get into art? Fucking, just been doing it my whole life. How'd you start? Like, what kind of art? Uh, I like the Chicano prison lowrider art. Okay. Honestly, that's what I like to do, which correlates with, like, the tattooing I do. Hell yeah. So, uh... Before you was tattooing, I know you was doing the barber shit. How long, how long you been cutting hair? Uh, I'd say about 10 years. And you're still cutting hair? Yeah. Hell yeah. Start, started on my nephew's head, fucking him up. <laughs> That's how I did. I started on my brother's head, fucking my brother's head up. Yeah. Oh, Shy? Yo. Yeah. That shit, fuck. Yeah, I used to give him little tapers, lineups. My brother's always wanted a lineup from me, pretty much. How long have you been an entrepreneur? Fuck. Took it serious probably like three, almost four years ago. Yeah, that's with the LLC or you're just off doing your own thing, working for yourself? Right, right now I'm just working for myself. Um, in the process of getting my LLC and all that stuff right now. Well, if you don't know, this is the man Rico. He's the one here in Casper. He's getting ready to leave, so I had to get booked up. I had to get my shit in. It's my boy, it's my dog. I get that farewell <laughs> tag. Yeah. He's getting ready to move to Green Bay, so... I always said if I came out of tattoo retirement, he'd be the person that I went to go see. So I had to keep it true to my word and go see my man. Go give him some dollars before he took off to embark on his new journey. So he moved to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and he's doing his thing. He got hired at a shop out there. I might be wrong. He might have got uh, spotted a couple different shops. I know, but he cuts hair. He does tattoos. So good luck to my man out there in Green Bay. Thank you for the beautiful artwork. I love it. It's probably my favorite piece to this day. Then that night, I went and I hung out with the dudes from the Comic Zone, old Cluffy and uh, Bill and DJ Nike, and we went over one of my favorite topics, was mafia, everything, but more specifically in this one was uh, more like mafia pop culture movies and shows and, and books and stuff like that is what we went over, but that's one thing, if you've ever been around me or tried to ever talk about it, that's like one thing that I know a lot about. It's actually the reason why I have these bad boys. These are a sign of Sicilian aristocracy in uh, late 1800s, early 1900s Sicily with the Mafia. I've had those since I was 14 years old. It's 22 years I've had them bad boys. Also, my pinky rings. This one's called Lil Tony, named after Tony Soprano. And this one's Lil Polly, after Polly Galtieri on Sopranos. 
So, I love mafia shit, so. For me, personally, uh, my all-time favorite is The Sopranos, the TV show. Mm -hmm. Love it. The layers, there's 80 episodes, you know what I mean? They're all hour long, you can't go wrong there. That's 40 movies, right. you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, just the layers, how you go through it, uh, his family life, his mafia life, the associates, all their lives, his mom, his mom and his uncle try to get him killed, you know, all that yeah, stuff. Mom tries to off him. Yeah. So I mean, all that stuff is is really what I enjoyed was the layers. In the Sopranos? Yes. Yes, dude. Like, yeah, that movie. TV okay, show. That, that show. And I only watched it, like, recently, but I know how old it is. Then I had to finish it off by going to see the people at Black Sunday. That's that's my people. That's that's the home shop. Even though I've never been tattooed there, that's everybody who works there is is my people. That's all the bros. Everybody, Terrence, Caleb. Yo, this is Caleb at Black Sunday Tattoo. Uh, been here for about five years now. Uh, shout out to uh, Osh Nose. Go check out his podcast. Um, he's got a lot to say. Um, yeah, go check him out, dude. How how long have you been tattooing? Uh, I've been tattooing for about five years. Five years, so you've yep. been at Black Sunday your entire time tattooing? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I I'd say the entire time I was down in Douglas for a while, but I don't really count I don't really count that amount of time because I wasn't I wasn't the best. So And yeah. you're originally from Douglas? Yep, originally from Douglas. Yep. Okay, and then you came out here to do big dog stuff? Yep, pretty much. Came out here to run with the run with the big dog essentially. Yep. Nice and, and you do uh tattoo conventions and stuff. Where's the places you've been? Uh I've been to uh Arizona, uh Mesa, the uh Grand Canyon tattoo convention down there. Been to um, shoot, I don't know where else. That that's one of the bigger ones. Oh, you have Colorado, Utah. Uh, what's the one down in Colorado? Not that one. No, the one down in Utah. The Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City Convention. Been to that one. Um, Colorado, the North and South. Uh, Colorado Tattoo Convention. Been down there. So about three, four of them go down there every year for the past three years. So. Oh uh, yeah. You know. What's the craziest thing you've ever tattooed on someone? Um, I tattooed my friend Mason Fletcher. He's also a tattooer. We've done porn tattoos on him. So, yeah, you could go ahead and let your mind drift on that, how how far you can take it. Give us an example without describing it. Uh, the dicks, vaginas, and uh, tits. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it is, man. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, baby Josh. Hey, this is Baby Josh here at Black Sunday Tattoo. I've been here for about uh, four years now. Um, just want to say thank you to everybody who comes down and supports everything. Feel free to support Osh Nose. Give him a shout out. Give him a link. Check him out. Um, come down to the shop. We're always open, taking walk-ins. Um, let's make it pretty. Thanks, guys. How long have you been tattooing? Uh, not long enough. Probably four years. Yeah. Did Three you years as a like professional tattooer. Did you start out here at Black Sunday? I did. Yep. Andy Westman is my mentor. He's the one who taught me what I know. Fucking ace. Wouldn't do anything else. What's the, all that nine to five? What's the craziest thing you tattooed on someone? Um, probably just a black asshole. Yeah, just black as could be. It's not very crazy, but it's nasty. <laughs> what's the most meaningful tattoo you've tattooed on someone? Um, shit, probably those memorials. You know, people come in, they just lost a loved one or something, and you know they're trying to memorialize them and make something that lasts forever. So that's always cool to get that opportunity to, you know, give those people the the kind of uh, what they're after in a sense, you know, to remember that person and it's almost sentimental to them. So it means a lot to you as well if they enjoy it and they like your work. So that's always uh, really uplifting and kind of positive for us to do, so. Nice. Yeah. What, what's your favorite thing about tattooing? The pirate life aspect. This shit's cool as fuck. We do what we want, we draw on people, we fuck off and you couldn't ask for a much better job. Best job I ever had for sure. Fucking ace. <laughs> Uh, I just met Noah for the first time, but it was also the first time seeing his work, and that man is ridiculous. Old boy's been here for five or six sessions, getting down. Um, I've been to Black Sunday for, I don't know, about six months now, but I've been working in this industry for, I don't know, three and a half years. Um, came back up here from Colorado to fucking throw down the homies and my locals at this point. Starting to get on some big projects, going down pretty big. Um, as you can see, good stuff in the works. I don't know. 
You said this took how long? Um, probably a total of, I'd say, 12 to 14 hours at the most. Minimum 12. How many sessions? Two. Two sessions? Yeah. Some of the shit that I seen that he was working on was was amazing. You definitely want to go down and see this man and, and get tatted by him. And so that's that. That was all the boys from Black Sunday. And that's all we got on this episode. Osh knows. Check it out. Like. Subscribe, comment, tell everybody to to do the same, spread the word, word of mouth, and let's get this shit going.